Hi, this is Mike from EOTech talking about care and maintenance of your EOTech holographic weapon site product. Here I have examples of two older EOTech sites that exhibit signs of damage from alkaline batteries. Now I'm going to walk you through the contact replacement process on the 512-552 sites. The two kits that we're going to install to correct the 512-552 battery damage is a 9-N bumper kit available at eotechgear.com and a 9-N2107A battery grommet kit. Step one is we inspect the battery compartment to make sure that it has or does not have grommets. This particular one does not have grommets, but it does have the contact bar. What I'm going to do is I'm going to clean the silver barbell with an alcohol wipe from the first aid kit. I've removed any debris, which is a little bit of rust from the battery springs, some old adhesive and some battery leakage, and I'm confident that it is now nice and clean and I can install my one-piece battery grommet kit. The one-piece battery grommet fits in with compression and tension and does not require any adhesive at all and it looks different than the two that have come out of your battery compartment. The first thing you do is you insert it with the indents facing inward so it conforms to the shape of the nose of the battery compartment. Once you have it flush, take your two batteries, put your batteries in and press the grommet in and seat it firmly. Turn it upside down, put a little bit of pressure on it to make sure that it's seated fully and then you can inspect it to make sure your batteries are sitting in all the way. It's very important that the old grommets are completely out and you're working with just a silver barbell that's in the battery compartment. Here you have a different battery compartment that still has the original rubber grommets in. They will have to be broken loose if they're not loose. You do that by applying a little bit of sideways pressure with a screwdriver. And then they come out and you can see that they've got corrosion and oxidation from battery leakage and years of use. Next, we're going to replace the contacts on the holographic site itself. You can do this generally by just peeling off the rubber bumper. We want to make sure the inside of the site contacts are clean. If there's any debris or oxidation in there, you may use a Q-tip with a little bit of rubbing alcohol on to clean it. Next, we're going to prepare the bumper kit by placing the parts on a towel or a rag because some of these parts are small and they roll away very easily. Step one is to remove the adhesive backing from the new bumper and we're going to install the two retention washers that prevent the new contacts from pushing all the way through. So we center those as best we can over our hole and we use a pen to center them over the holes. The next step is to take our little nickel-plated contacts, drop them in so the cups are facing upwards towards you, and we take our two contact springs that are coated, put them inside the contact cup, and we take the entire assembly and we put it on the face of the site and hold it there for several seconds. Then we release it, put the battery compartment on. Let that sit for a couple minutes so the adhesive will, will mate together. Then you can remove the battery compartment and install new batteries and then test your site for operation. Your battery contacts have now been upgraded on your 500 series 512-552 site. It's ready to be remounted on your firearm and the zero check. <music>